this is LG 43 inch ultra fine smart monitor this is a 4k IPS display with HDR10 Wi-Fi AirPlay 2 USB C with 65 watt power delivery and two 10 watt speakers it come with a magic remote it has two HDMI port one display port that is USB C and a headphone out the color of this display is white these are the accessories you will get with the display the HDMI cable and the power cable and the USB C cable and the magic remote this is are the accessories you are going to get with this display as you can see uh, this is a gigantic display that is 43 inches uh, diagonally I am using this with my M1 Mac mini as a primary monitor and my MacBook Pro uh, using AirPlay 2 as a secondary display most of the time I will use my MacBook Pro and use AirPlay 2 to play YouTube videos and YouTube tutorials etc on this screen uh, as a secondary display like uh, watching CCTV footage or something else uh, I need to track progress of on this screen most of the time so I'm perfectly fine with this display most of the time I play YouTube videos and uh, some other stuff I really don't care about that much on this uh, display when I use it as my primary display using the M1 Mac mini the things will get a little bit interesting because this is a gigantic display uh, previously I was using a Dell uh, ultra sharp display that is uh, 2k or QHD I don't know what that resolution is 2560 into 1440 like that uh, it was a 27 inch display that was uh, at the first time I feel like it was it was a little bit big but eventually I get used to it and 27 I found 27 inch is perfectly fine even ready to go for a 32 inch display but I straight <laughs> jumped to 43 inches and found that it is not that manageable most people say you need to sit little bit uh, back uh, you need to sit little bit uh, back to see everything that is true because if you sit at a normal distance uh, you need to look around for display elements application elements on the screen uh, it is not a pleasant experience uh, but the text are surprisingly sharp and readable it is not that pixelated uh, uh, some icons like the screen flow icons is a little bit pixelated but everything else is almost smooth but still if you look for pixel pixels you can see pixels if you look closer you can definitely see the pixels but in normal viewing distance you cannot able to see the pixels and the color accuracy and the viewing angle of the display is exceptional for the price I, I should say because the similar range there is a Samsung display on my friend's house it is the color accuracy of that panel is very bad even though it is an IPS panel but uh, for that reason uh, this display is very good uh, text is readable it is not that uh, eye straining experience but like I said in the first time this is a very big display for uh, using as a primary monitor so I will not recommend this as a primary monitor but it will get the job done if, if this is the only display you have you can manage it uh, no problem other aspects of this display is it come with a three year warranty that is a good thing because most uh, displays uh, come with a one year warranty that is not adequate but LG gives three year warranty and a visa mount uh, option if you need uh, the web boys and uh, the Wi-Fi works great it has a built-in Ethernet port that is 100 Mbps but the Wi-Fi is even faster than the Ethernet around 300 
mbps or more you can get on this tv using the wi-fi uh, wi-fi is a uh, dual band uh, it work with 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. that's uh, fine uh, it's a web os display you can expect all web os features but unfortunately there is no pip like lg i have other monitors that come with that that they are monitors this is tv first and monitor second lg how other displays that is monitor first and tv second <laughs> displays they come with pip and kvm like features but this doesn't have any of that feature you cannot view two hdmi ports on one screen or control two devices at once like uh, some new dell monitors do uh, i would say this is tv first and monitor second but everything else is working fine uh, like i'm using it most of the time using airplay it is working fine for me anyway that's it for now thanks for watching have a nice day if you have any questions please ask in the comment sections bye bye